Hi, this is Stephen Poff, and I'm, uh, I've got an iPhone here, and I've been excited for the past couple of years the way the technology has been progressing on the iPhone. And uh, one of the programs I want to show you today is a, a program called Fortrack by Sonoma Wireworks. And I'm going to take and create an entire song using only this. They also have a program called Instant Drummer, um, and I've got the Heartbreaker version of that. And we're going to create a drum track, and we're going to record and the entire song using only the iPhone. The only thing I'm gonna to attach to the iPhone itself is just this pair of headphones. You could also use um, the earbuds and the microphone that's attached to that. I've done that before um, and it works just fine, but I'm gonna teach you a method that, that I use um, that I think works really well. So now if you at attach normal headphones, what I've found is that the microphone still works on here, but the audio only comes out of the headphones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the uh, iPhone in front of me and the microphone is face back towards me. And I'm gonna choose a new song. I'm gonna first get my metronome and I'm gonna set it at 130 beats per minute. And that's going to give me a beat to play by. It's going to keep me in time so that whenever I go to add drums, I'll be in time with the drums. All right, go back to the song. And as you can see, track one is armed. And all we have to do is go to slide to record here. And we're going to start out and record our first acoustic guitar. I usually like to take and record two different guitars and pan them left and right and then I think it makes it a lot richer and a lot fuller. So I'm going to do that. Alright, at this point um, I'd like to have some vocals in there, even if they're just scratch vocals to work uh, the rest of the song in so that I know where all the parts are at. and. Um, and I can start building around that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um, the phone and uh, I'm gonna go into a more dead area. I've got a closet, that, a walk-in closet, that's closed all around it that I feel is gonna kind of deaden the sound just a little bit so I'm not reverberating around the room. So let's go try that out. I'm just gonna hold it out like this and, uh, and just kind of sing across it, not into it so we don't want to cause it to um, distort or anything. Will you call the operator connect me to your line she tell me all your secrets gathered over time I don't know another number I don't know if one exists but I Disconnected from your lips. No one's on the line. All right, as you can see, we've got uh, four tracks recorded here. We've got uh, a guitar, uh, or two guitars, a vocal, and a backup. And what we want to do now is I'm going to go to Song Tools. I'm going to go to Bounce. And it gives me two options. I can bounce within the song and make um, bounce it all down to two tracks within the same song, but that destroys what you've already done. You don't want to do that. I'm going to go to a new song and you slide that across. Alright, now after it's bounced, you can go to the song list and there it is at the top. Disconnected, bounced to, and now There we go, on tracks one and two uh, are our, um, our bounce tracks. So now we can go back through and we can lay a tremolo guitar part in there and another guitar part um, and just keep adding like that. So basically what we're gonna do uh, is just keep doing that. Where we'll um, record until the tracks are full, bounce it to a new song, record to the tracks are full, bounce it to a new song. Um, you'll see in the end though that it's, you're not destroying any tracks. We'll be able to pull every single individual track 
um, off of the iPhone to be able to remix that in a recording software a little later on. All right, so here we are back in our uh, living room studio, and uh, now I've got uh, my guitar hooked up, and I've got a little tremolo setting on the line six. So the way we're gonna do this is, I've got a box, I'm gonna set it up there on, um, so that it's a little higher on the speaker, you get a little bit more of the, um, the center of the speaker so you can get some, a um, little bit of a more mid-rangey sound. So as you can see with apps such as 4Track and Instant Drummer by that Sonoma Fireworks, uh, the possibilities are endless and it makes the iPhone a very creative tool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, be sure to look for more videos like this in the future. My name is Stephen Pop and I'll see you next time.